In Commitment 2024 coverage, former President Donald Trump will be back in South Carolina tomorrow. The frontrunner for the GOP nomination for president is also facing three indictments, including one yesterday, which as of now seem to actually be helping him in the polls. Taggart Houck is following this. He joins us in studio to break it all down. Tag. Carol and I, former President Donald Trump won the South Carolina Republican primary twice already. The question this time around is will he do it again? Polling shows he still has a strong lead in the state and the indictments are in some cases bolstering support among Republican voters. The latest poll among voters in South Carolina was a Fox Business poll back in July. It has the former president at 48 percent, former Governor Nikki Haley at 14 percent, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis at 13 percent and then Senator Tim Scott at 10 percent. And one of the trends from that is that DeSantis is losing support as Trump continues to gain traction. There are uh, concerted efforts by some groups to try and get the core Trump supporters to begin breaking away. But as we see with the, the trends in polling and after these indictments, it's darn near impossible to chisel them away from supporting Donald Trump. He says the first indictment really strengthened support. The second uh, kept that support uh, for former President Trump in the polls. It is not yet clear, though, what yesterday's the third indictment will end up doing. The South Carolina Republican primary, though, is still a long way away. It happens in February. And the state in recent years has really been an important factor in deciding the nominee for president and has done so in recent years every time, just about with the exception of Newt Gingrich back in 2012. Nigel.